Hi, my name is Nigel Swartz. I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture and we're here at the Rookwood site um, having a bit of a look at our, our cover crop treatments and what we're trying to implement through this PIPS3 project. Um, what we're trying to do through this project is work with growers to be able to produce fruit uh, both sustainably and profitably. Uh, we're working with growers to produce premium quality fruit, fruit that, are, that is tasty, that is nutritious, um, that is going to really engage the consumer and keep them coming back, keep them coming back for more. But to be able to do that, um, we, we're wanting to implement some sustainable agriculture practices, and that is uh, the purpose of our orchard floor treatments. So what is sustainable agriculture and what does it look like and, and does it go and how does it go hand in hand with, with profitability? So sustainable ag is about uh, producing premium quality fruit uh, for future generations whilst uh, maintaining and preserving our natural resources. Those natural resources in include our soil, um, our water and our, and our plant nu nutrients. What is the problem that we're trying to resolve? Um, we know that uh, in, in conventional orchard practices we often see uh, that a bare strip can, can lead to um, infiltration issues for water, it can lead to low soil organic, organic carbon and it can lead to, lead to the loss of, uh, of the topsoil and that topsoil could be quite rich in nutrients. Uh, we also know that, um, that uh, conventional practices can lead to pest and disease issues so we're trying to create a, a, an orchard that, that, has a, a, that is really rich in biodiversity, that has biodiversity and, and um, above and below ground. What we are trying to create through this research program is a sustainable orchard. A sustainable orchard that, that is resilient. It's rich in biodiversity, rich in uh, above and below ground biodiversity that enables an orchard to be resilient. Um, and that, that resilience comes through a, a range of direct services to, that, that is only going to improve orchard productivity in the long run. Uh, those, those services, those direct services include um, pollination benefits. It includes the ability to be able to control pests and diseases uh, biologically. Um, it, it, it enables uh, a better uh, soil structure, improved soil physical structure, better access to, to soil nutrients um, and the ability to, to hold water um, and, and improve the water holding capacity of the soil. Um, you know, in, in the current climate of, of high input costs and, uh, and that, that growers are really thinking about how much um, fertiliser costs, how much uh, fuel costs, how much uh, pest, synthetic pesticides cost, this, this project is really about trying to lower those input costs lower those input requirements to be able to produce something that, that is a whole stack more self-sustaining into the future.